Welcome or welcome back to the MB Makes Knitting Channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the maker behind MB Makes here on YouTube as well uh, as on Instagram. You can also find me on Ravelry, but not all my projects I made are on there yet. But I'm making an effort this year to keep that up to date as well. Today I have a special video for you. I was scrolling through uh, Ravelry uh, this weekend and I found some lovely free sock patterns. As one of my goals for this year is to knit one pair of socks, socks each month. Um, I wanted to see uh, what sock patterns were out there. I do have some uh, patterns I already bought uh, last year for socks, uh, which are mostly color work sock patterns. But I wanted to knit some simple socks with uh, texture. Uh, and I went to look for some free patterns for that. And I found some really lovely patterns, both uh, color work and texture socks, um, which are uh, free for download on Ravelry. Uh, and I have one sock pattern from a blog. Uh, and I will share these with you. Uh, if I'm looking down, I'm, I have my computer here um, with the pattern names and designers. Um, I will try and link everything below, uh, but feel free if you have any questions uh, to put them down in the comments. The first pattern I want to share with you is the I'm So Basic Socks by Summer Lee. These socks are knit cuff down and I think this is a great pattern when you've never knit socks before. Uh, yeah, so these patterns vary from beginner to more advanced, uh, but I think most of them can be knit if you are really a beginner at socks, if you've knit one or two pairs. But I think this uh, pattern is great if you've never knit socks before, if you just learned how to knit in the round, um, and you want to knit on something small, I think this is a great pattern. Um, I've scrolled through it um, a bit already and it's really um, detailed with lots of explanation on how to do everything from uh, the cuff and then the heel flap and gusset, which is I think the most difficult part of a sock. Um, but not really that hard, I think. Um, so I think that's a great first pattern. Then uh, a second sock I found on Ravelry was the Broken Rib Socks by Amy Van Well. These are also knit uh, cuff down and they are a bit um, more special than the vanilla sock I talked about earlier. Um, so this has a yeah a broken rib stitch, so it's not all uh, in stockinette. And I was really interested in that sock because I wanted something simple with a bit of texture, um, but that I can still use for some um, hand tied yarns that don't um, distract the pattern uh, from the sock or or that. Um, yeah, don't show the, the colorway uh, well. So I think these are great for that. I even cast them on um, this morning from some yarn I had in stash. Um, for the cuff, I used some Tokolana Arbeta, which is a great sock yarn in my opinion. Um, they have lots of lovely colors in this. It's great for just simple um, socks or with some texture and also great for heels, toes and cuffs on a more special sock. If you have a more special yarn like this is some hand dyed yarn from um, Ladybug Yarns. It's a colorway uh, Lakeview and 
it's a um, superwash merino 75% and 25% nylon blend and yeah I really love these colors I have this yarn in my stash for maybe close to a year now and I really wanted to use it and when I saw this pattern I knew um, I wanted to make socks uh, with this yarn and you can see the cuff is done with the arveta and then very simple broken rib stitch uh, for the foot well the, the leg and also on the foot um yeah it's just really simple the half of the rounds is just uh all knitting and the other half you knit a few stitches then do one purl stitch then again knit few stitches purl stitch so yeah it's really simple but um, it's a bit more engaging but it's still is quite mindless you don't have to think too hard or really count once you have an established uh, rib pattern um, and normally these are uh, the pattern is for two at a time socks in uh, with magic loop, but I wanted to have something on my nine inch circulars. Uh, these are two point two five millimeter, um, and yeah, I think this is easier for me to take on the go, um, as I do have to go to work with the train. Uh, so it's easy to take with me and I like to have a sock project that's easy for traveling and stuff but yeah these is normally for uh, two at a time and I do want to try that also um, but yeah I have more yarn to try that with um, later this year so those were the broken rib socks the third pattern I found were the Hermione's Everyday Socks. Again, a really uh, simple pattern with a lovely texture. It's a bit different than your basic vanilla sock. Uh, these are designed by Erika Lauder. And it's already quite an old pattern, but it's free on Ravelry. And I think this is also great for some um, light hand-dyed yarn or just a simple, uh, like an Arveta um, unicolored sock yarn. The next pattern I found were the Biscuit Socks by Fluffy Fibers. These are again uh, cuff down socks but these are for a DK weight yarn. I have knit these socks before. Um, I actually just finished them last month. Uh, but I used the fingering weight yarn, uh, also hand dyed yarn. And since the, the stitch count I normally use is uh, 56 stitches. Um, and the, patter the pattern um, has 56 stitches for um, one of the sizes of these socks. I just uses, I used my uh, normal stitch count and followed the pattern for uh, the texture. So it's a few rows of just knitting and then it's a row of uh, knitting uh, three stitches, then purling one, then again knitting three. Um, and then it's offset on a few row rows below. Um, yeah, you can check out the pattern, it's free. Um, with the 2x2 two two, uh, cuff, I really liked it. I used a uh, German short row, row heel on my socks. But yeah, I think once you know how to knit socks and you've tried a few heels, I think they are quite easily interchangeable um, on different socks if you like uh, one certain heel method uh, better. Um, I think it's easy to change it up. Uh, so yeah, I do want to make these also in a DK weight because I really love um, the texture again. Um, and maybe I will do this time um, the heel that's recommended in the pattern. 
Next free sock pattern are the Nutmeg Socks by Tanya Barley. I had these in my uh, library uh, for a few months already, I think. Uh, I did make for October a... Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's on Instagram and you um, put different uh, posts together. Um, and then there I made a, yeah, I made that and I found these socks on Instagram first. Um, it's again a free pattern. It's cuffed down, but it has a special um, like cable something on the cuff. And then another textured pattern on uh, the rest of the sock. I think these are really lovely, uh, but maybe it's the colorway, but I think these scream more uh, fall socks. So I might make these uh, later this year with a yeah, lovely brown or burnt orange color or a simple neutral gray. Um, yeah. Next up is the Delicate Lace Socks by A Bee in the Bonnet. I found these socks um, scrolling through Pinterest. I was looking for some inspiration to maybe um, try and just create my own sock pattern. And I wanted something with a simple uh, lace pattern, but not with too big of the holes or something, because yeah, Woolen socks are meant to keep your feet warm if it has lots of holes. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Uh, but these have tiny holes and it's a really simple stitch pattern. Um, also with the, the, the sample that's knit with uh, variegated yarn, it's really pretty. Um, and I think I would like to, when I knit these for myself, uh, search for a similar yarn. I do have something in stash I think I could use for these. Um, these are also knit cuff down and the pattern uh, you can find on a blog but I will link that below. The next pattern is again a cuff down pattern and it uh, it's the Colorwork Palette Socks by Laura Moretz. I also have seen these before on Instagram, on uh, Pinterest a few times and I think it's a great sock pattern for some uh, when you have some scraps of uh, socks, sock yarn or when you maybe have some mini skeins uh, from an advent calendar or just random mini skeins you got. Um, I think it's a great pattern, you can really yeah, have fun with this. And I want to try and make these uh, when I have some more scrap yarns um, from the socks I've knit over the years. So this will be maybe something more uh, for the end of the year. But again, a nice uh, pattern. Then I also wanted to include uh, these socks. These are the Easy Peasy Socks by Carolina Adam Sik. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, these are also cuff down socks and these are color work socks. Um, although they do look uh, really difficult, they are actually quite simple. I've seen these before in uh, a podcast uh, from the Mindful, Cre Mindful Creators. And I looked for them on Ravelry and they really are very simple. Um, so if you want to try, if, you, if you've tried socks before and you want to try some color work, um, I think these are a great pattern to start off with. And it's free, so if it doesn't work out, you can look for another pattern. But I think they're really easy and I do really want to try them. Um, not sure which yarns yet, uh, maybe I will just use two uh, unicolors um, from again the Arvetta or other sock yarns I have in stash. I um, think I can find something. So a really great color work pattern. Then the next sock pattern I have 
is a toe-up sock pattern. These are the trusty toe-up socks by Tennis La Vallée. I want to try some new techniques also this year. And since I've only needed socks uh, from the cuff down um, on magic loop uh, at first and then later on short circulars, I wanted to try a new technique in my socks. So I want to try some toe-up socks. And I think this uh, is a great pattern to start with. It's uh, great for um, stripe, uh, self-striping yarn. And I do have some in my stash that I can show you. Like this yarn I have in my stash. I think it will be perfect for these socks to try some um, toe-up uh, sock technique. And I also have this yarn. I think I also can use this um, for these socks or maybe for, for the previous, the color work socks with the basic um, white as, a, as the main color. Um, actually, that might be nice. Um, so yeah, I have lots of sock yarn I can use for all these socks. But I want to try some toe-up socks um, later this year. Um, just some simple vanilla socks, but I think it's great to learn a new technique. And then the last pattern I have are the Strands of Gold socks by Linda Garland. These are also toe-up socks, but um, these are not vanilla. The, these have a, a texture to it, which I also want to try um, after I try to just vanilla socks. Um, because, well, I don't know, maybe I like toe-up socks. Um, at the moment I really like just cuff down, um, since they're also just for me, I can try on my socks when I need to, um, to see how long they need to be. And I also have, yeah, enough yarn, um, always for the socks I'm knitting. Um, but maybe when I use some scrap yarn, it's easier to do toe-up socks, so I can just use up all my yarn. Um, so yeah, these were all the patterns I found. These are all free patterns. Um, most of them you can find just on Ravelry. I'll leave the links below. I will be knitting lots of these socks, I think, this year. Um, some of them I might change to a bit of a shorter sock uh, when I'm knitting them in the summer. Um, but I think they're all really great patterns and I can't wait to try them all. I hope I've inspired you and given you some um, yeah, useful information about these socks. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram. Be sure to follow me over there um, or here on YouTube to see what, what socks I end up making and how they look. And I can give you some more feedback on the patterns uh, that I've used. Up until now, the uh, broken rib sock pattern is really nice. Um, but I will keep you updated here on YouTube or on my Instagram account. I hope you have a lovely day and see you soon in the next podcast episode. Bye!